How you know them? Ready to speed free 650. There she is. I guess I don't know. Come up with name Blue Thunder. Uh, she's uh she's just about wrapped up. Um sorry about the video quality. I'm shooting on my daughter's little Kindle fire. Uh reason being is that my phone has the uh app that uh, links up with the controller so um, I wanted to show you hopefully how that works uh, so I didn't want to film with my phone but uh, she's pretty much done I just wanted to show you maybe that part uh, but right now it's a Razer RSF 650 so got a 60 volt 3000 watt MY 20, 1020 uh, we're running um, MX 650 front forks with uh, upgraded 160 millimeter blue sunshine rotors and brakes. Um, we got cafe style suit we got off eBay. I uh, got these little got these brake levers. I think they're like 12 bucks on eBay, but. They were red. I like the color, so I got them in there long. I like the length of them. So, um, got my still a razor. Got my razor sticker on there. So, but uh, so here's the business side. I didn't close this side up. We're running a <clears throat> running a two seventy two volt. 8 amp hour batteries in the tank so we got uh, 72 volts 16 amp hour uh, it's 120 amps continuous discharge and it'll peak at uh, 240 so we're running a Sabaton 7280 it's a 72 volt 80 amp current and does uh 200 phase amps with flux weakening and uh, I guess that's a 60 volt 3000 watt brushless motor it may be a Viva I'm not sure but we're running 15 on the motor and an 89 tooth on the wheel uh, we don't expect a lot of speed out of that we'll probably get 50 so if we can do if we can do 50 on that we'll be we'll be looking good um, so we got the batteries in the tank uh, the lid doesn't open anymore but if you can see we took uh, we took this here and the charge port was up here and the button was up there we moved the switch to the to towards that that end took out the charge port and uh, tank doesn't open that's how we were able to get the batteries in there but both batteries are in there and uh, we moved the charge port to the back down here uh, charging the batteries in parallel inside the tank there's a XT60 parallel port uh, so each battery kind of like charges the other battery so they stay balanced they balance themselves by staying parallel charged uh, we're running just uh, two XT90 uh, silicone pigtails down for battery connections all of the connections are in there uh, wiring came out really nice really happy with it um, running the controller on a heat sink brick I got a custom cut for uh, the same size as a battery tray so it slips down in there. I've got my controller screwed down to that and then two uh, Velcro straps strapping everything down nice and tight so it's going to breathe good, going to vent good. Um, so here you go. We kept the start, start uh, the on off stock. So uh, we're running a voltmeter thumb throttle for now. I kind of like thumb throttles. I needed a voltmeter. 
things didn't work out with the gas cap bolt meter so uh, so you turn your turn your bike on voltage meter comes on the controller green light is on so with that switch uh, can both the uh, throttle controller the voltmeter all comes on so it's hot once you once you turn it on then you just come in here go to uh, go to your MQ settings I'm sorry this is not connecting hit not connecting hit that it's connected now and there's your parameters battery voltage 8267 motor speed RPM right now it's a zero all value my throttle value that's a running throttle value so it's at rest at zero it's a 1.5 1.6 volt 0.06 temperature um, you got all your settings on here I can't do much right now with this uh, camera and this phone we'll, we'll set up a tripod later and I'll go through some of the settings with you pretty simple pretty easy there's some things you need to learn uh, uh, I had some help from a guy but uh, then I found I found the web page that I was looking for so all the information is on the website and matter of fact this app that you can control your controller from I downloaded it from Google Play Store uh, so the Sabaton has their has their shit together I guess uh, but like I said uh, it does uh, on your parameters page I mean it has your running voltage has your motor speed too your RPMs it'll give you a running so uh, we really haven't gotten it really high up on uh, RPMs here on the on the Uh, when you see the RPM watch, I'll, I'll do it. Whole throttle that 1.25 volts. You know, unlike the Kellys, uh, you can't get uh, real-time diagnostics. You can't run the motor while you're running your parameters. Uh, so that's a really nice feature about this uh, Sabaton uh, it's, it's big uh, But it does That it, it, it does big because it is big you know, uh, I like to I like the colors because they're small. I'm not I'm not dogging on them um, I like that little KLNS I have uh, So uh, This is this is the first I know. Uh, I don't know anybody else from the Sabaton in, a, in one of these. So, I wish you have some fun with it. Uh, got all your, your settings. You can do your haul test, boost current. Got, um, you can set your, your, uh, Flux weakening current. Oh, it's got a lot to it. I I, I want to get it down on the ground and get it out and do some do some real time tests. You can't learn much sitting here on the bench. So I could test and tune all I want, but it's not going to tell me. Uh, the seat of my pants is going to tell me more than uh, sitting on this kickstand. But it's all back together. It looks sweet. That's a good looking bike. And I bet you it's just as fast. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get off this terrible camera and uh, maybe I'll go a little bit more in depth about everything uh, later. See you.